Collard greens are a southern staple year round, but today I'm showing you how I like to make them just in time for barbecue season. Forget kale and spinach, collard greens are where it's at for me. Listen, they're packed with nutrition even when they're swimming in butter and bacon. Just that. They're very affordable. You can even get them already trimmed in a big bag for about five bucks. Some people are more intimidated when you buy them by the bunch, but I'm showing you how easy it is. You'll see the leaves are really big and hearty, but what is not so delicious is the stem, especially towards the bottom. It can be a little bit woodsy and tough, so you just wanna remove that before cooking. I like to just kind of fold it in half and then just peel the stem right out, and then you're left with the leaf. If a little bit of the stem is left at the top of the leaf, it's okay because that part is pretty tender. It doesn't take long to just pick the stems out of each one. If you're making a lot of collard greens for a huge crowd, then a good way to do it is to kind of stack them on top of each other, fold them in half, and then run your knife down the stem, and that'll pull out you know, more than one at a time. I like to go ahead and do this step before I wash them because it's just a lot easier. So you're probably gonna need to give your cutting board a rinse too. You can also eat collard greens without cooking them. They make a delicious slaw. Or you could do the same thing that you do like with a kale Caesar, you can do it with collard greens. Once you've removed the stems, just discard them and now it's time to cut the greens. There's a couple different ways you can cut them. Some people like just torn big, you know, pieces like that and sometimes people like them a little bit shredded. But regardless, I like to kind of stack them up and work with multiple leaves at a time. Kind of roll them together and then I kind of go down the center, stack them again and then just chop away and you're left with pieces like this. Here's the thing, this looks like a lot of collard greens. These cook down just like spinach does, but if you think about all that you ate in its raw state, see, you're still getting the benefits. If you want them more shredded, you'll do the same thing. We're gonna stack them up again, roll them, and then run your knife along to shred them. This is called chiffonade. You do this sometimes with fresh herbs. And then you're left with smaller pieces. Doesn't really matter. However you wanna do it is fine. Because they grow right in the dirt, you'll find that they are often dirty or sandy, especially close to the bottom. So once you've cut them, we're gonna submerge them in water to wash them. You can just do it in a salad spinner or just fill your sink or a large bowl with some water and let them submerge into that kind of water. That's how you're gonna get all that grit to fall to the bottom. You don't just really wanna run them under a sink or sometimes it just doesn't come out. This recipe starts out by cooking up some bacon. The fat from the bacon is gonna render in the same pot we cook our collards in and carry throughout the dish. We know that fat is a good transfer of flavor. I'm just gonna get them cut up so that they kind of crumble as they cook. A lot of people use maybe some smoked turkey legs or ham hocks. Bacon is my favorite in collard greens. It's got that smokiness, but it also has that good fat. With our bacon, we're gonna add in some onion. We're gonna cook these onions down till they're sweet and super tender in that bacon fat. Y'all, that's one of the best smells. I kinda like thin slices or julienne slices of onion. They cook down very mildly. And then finally, I'll chop up a couple cloves of garlic to add to this. You're just gonna need a large pot. You know, when I'm making like a mall type dish, I like to use mall's pot. To get our bacon going, I'm gonna kinda give it a little help with a little bit of olive oil. That's just gonna help the fat kinda render out. And then to that, we will add our bacon. You don't want your pot super hot when you add in your bacon. You want it to kinda heat up together. That's gonna help render the fat out a little better. And then we're just gonna cook the bacon until it's nice and crispy. At that point, we'll add in our onions and our garlic. Oh, I wish you could smell it. All right, our onions are soft and translucent. Our bacon is crispy. We'll get the collards in, fry them up a little bit. Once you've got that first load kind of cooked down, push it down and add more. Once our greens are all in there and starting to cook down, we're gonna add in our chicken broth, our chicken stock, some salt, pepper, and crushed red pepper. At this point, this is where you kind of make it your own. You know, I kind of add a few other things here and there sometimes. Other additions you can kind of put in are like a pinch of sugar to take out some of the bitterness. I like to put some vinegar in there, a little apple cider vinegar, hot sauce, you know, zhuzh it up. But I'm gonna stick to this five-star recipe from All Recipes. We'll bring these up to a simmer, then cover it and turn it on low and let them cook for about 45 minutes. They're totally edible at this point, but for true Southern style collard greens, we're gonna let them go. The time has come, our greens are nice and tender. Look at that, just look at that. Got that deep, rich green. 
The onions have really just cooked to nothing, so there's nothing not to like about that. Gotta give it a little taste. Mm. Mm -hmm. These are gonna be so perfect. I've got some barbecue chicken, a little cornbread. If you haven't tried collards alongside your barbecue, now's the time. Mm. The way the bacon fat kind of coats those greens in a good way, not a gross way, it's just so good. Those Southern folks know a thing or two about food, I'm telling you. I hope you'll give this collard green recipe a try, and when you do, don't forget to tag me. What Southern specialty or summer side would you like me to teach you how to make next? Let me know in the comments below. Now, get to cooking. See you next time. Once I turn off this camera, I'll get all up in here, you know, get your fingers, you know, with a little barbecue sauce. Break that chicken apart, make yourself the perfect bite. 